Hey everyone, how you doing? My name is Aaron, or A.A. Ron. And I'm here with Average Hero, and I wanted to um, take some time today to show you how to change the stick shift emblem on my brand new 2021 2SS 1LE, which I'm super proud of. I've been waiting to get this car for a long time, and I've had it about a week, and this is gonna be my first mod on this, although just aesthetic. And so um, in trying to figure out how to do it, did not come with instructions. I wanted to be able to share with you um, how I was able to figure it out. And it's not that hard. So let's dive in. Uh, these are the tools that I am gonna be using today to uh, remove the existing emblem and to install a new one. Pretty simple, most of this, you know, again, average hero, average guys in the garage, we should have most of these tools. Um, if not, I can put some links in the page so you can see where to get them. Um, but we just have a quarter socket set right here um, along with the uh, extender. And then we have a Torx bit, a T20 that's on there. So I don't know if you can see that, T20. Um, just a little socket set I pick up at Harbor Freight. Um, that there. This is a tool that I was using to actually remove or um, disengage the boot bracket that's in the car. Um, I'll show you the exact point where to do that because when I was watching some other videos, some guys were struggling to get that out and they're using different pry tools and it was just making me wince uh, because it could be damaging to the, um, the silver and the plastic parts in the car. So this is uh, just a pry tool. It's actually used for computer repairs, um, but if you use anything, just make sure it's thin and that it's durable because I use this black like pry tool um, also used in computer repair and stuff like that. It's called a spudger um, sometimes, but it actually broke. You can see the tip there. So um, be careful it's not too uh, weak that it'll, it'll snap off. And then of course, trust the old Phillips screwdriver. Once we have the boot off and the shift knob out, we can then change out the emblem because it's held in by a Phillips screw. What I went with today is the official GM uh, carbon fiber uh, shift emblem cap. It's got the Camaro, the six gen Camaro logo on there. Uh, it's pretty cool. If you are familiar with the um, SS models, the manuals, they have a, like a reddish orange shift cap. And for the satin gray um, that I have, uh, the color combination, it just does not go. So I wanted to change that out. As you can see here, the, you know, the coloring on it, it's, it's not the type of red that I am looking for. I actually really don't want. I know I got red on the uh, the lighting right there, but I, I really don't want red accents um, uh, in my car like that. So I really wanted to change that out. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, what we need to do, there is some bracketing, um, pl there's a plastic bracket that goes all around the base of this shift boot here. And there's some little spots basically here, 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 and here that are clipped in. And so that's what we're gonna use, that blade tool to kind of just disengage that, and then we can lift out. If you're having to do a lot of tugging, you shouldn't have to. Um, so just know that, that um, once, you, once you get it, you'll see how, how it disengages. It'll be easier if you ever had to do it again. All right, uh, as I said, um, I use this tool here. Uh, another video I saw, a guy had, um, looks like some pry tools for body molding. Uh, they were a little thick and he was having a hard time trying to get it to disengage. Um, so this, I uh, actually got it from iFixit. Again, it's been used for computer parts. I found it pretty, um, very handy in some of the smaller fine detail stuff. There's a lot of tools that come with this pack. Um, I can put the link in um, at the bottom on the video. But I'm gonna start right here, if you can see. So it's gonna be kind of on this spot and this spot. So I'm just going to work it right in there and I'll actually see it separate from the housing and it'll lift just a little bit. Now I'm not looking to totally pry it out right now because I want to get the other side too. And if I do the same spot, it should. So I can feel right now, all of them are pretty much, like I can see this is lifting here and here. Let me just try. There we go. So you can see it just pops right up. And then we just lift that like that. 
because the Torx um, screw that we need to remove is gonna be over on this side. And I'm gonna show you a picture of that so you can see it. So we can see the Torx screw right here, right at the base on the driver's side of the stick shift. And it's really, I think they have a little bit of Loctite on them, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just... Now, we want to make sure that we don't drop this down into the bottom there, because it's going to be really hard to try and find that down in that, you know, abyss, so to speak. So once that's done, we can lift it right up, comes right off. You can see the boot, and that's all one assembly. And then I'll show you down in there, but the Phillips head for the emblem is right down in the base of that. All right, so let's take it, let's go over to the little bench right there and we'll take that off. So this is what it looks like stock as it's in the car. Again, not bad, just not great. Um, so what we are going to do is when we invert this boot, uh, you can see down in there that Phillips screwdriver, sorry, Phillips <laughs> screw holding the cap, uh, the emblem cap in place. So we'll go ahead and fish down in there. And we can see that the cap's are already coming up. There's the screw. Looks like it's got a little bit of Loctite on it. There's the bottom of it. And it looks like it's got kind of a set pattern so we can't turn or twist on this. So we'll set that right there. Not sure what that number eight is for. And then this guy should go just like so. We'll hold that in place. All right, so it's kind of like fishing for it a little bit. There it goes, a bit, I feel it. Make sure it's sitting flush, it's not against those little spines. A little snug. Okay, so here we are, ready to put it back into the car. It can only go on one way because of the way these are flattened on each side of the stick. So we just slide it down there. We gotta remember to put the set screw in. So it's just a reverse of what I showed you earlier. I feel like I should show you guys where these clips are too. It might be too late. But there's also, looks like there's one clip back here and one on the front. So I thought it was just on the four um, sides. It's actually, there's one in the front and that's probably when I released that, it popped up so easily. So just a thing to note, if you're watching this video before you put it on, there's six total little tabs that hold this into place. And you can hear them all engaging as I just press a little firmly, but not overdoing it. And voila, there we go. I like it. All right, everyone, uh, I hope you liked that video. As you can see, it was actually fairly simple when you know what to do and what you're doing it with and the right tools. Um, definitely make, make the difference. 
Um, so that's the first uh, mod that I've done on my car. I, you know, I'm pleased with it. I um, actually have some other stuff coming from my car. I'm going to be um, debadging the sides and uh, doing 1LE blacked out emblems there and also on the back. Um, so doing that and then um, I have the dynamic diode uh, side markers, LED side markers. I'm pretty um, stoked about that. So there'll be some more videos coming about how to do those. Uh, and otherwise, if you like the video, like it down below, subscribe to my channel, Average Hero. Average because, you know, I just, average guy, got a regular job. This is kind of a hobby. I want to do some more things on this, do some stuff around the house. I fixed a lot of different things, just figure it out. And I'd like to be able to share that with you guys. And even I'm thinking about posting some videos on how to make just some average good old cocktails. So if you like that, subscribe. Thank you so much. You guys be safe. Mm -hmm.